you are in the business of collecting human feedback or customer feedback, sentiment analysis or emotion analysis, something that could give a lot of benefit to your business. It can help you decide whether a particular feature in a product is doing good, doing bad, something whether customers like or not like. And that is why sentiment analysis is something a lot of companies have been still chasing even in the age of deep learning because sentiment analysis actually drives business values in a lot of use cases. So here today we're going to talk about a different kind of sentiment analysis where instead of just doing a positive or negative sentiment, we're going to do six basic emotions. This come from a scientist or a researcher called Paul Ekman. So Paul Ekman described that human emotions globally universally can be classified into six emotions, anger, joy, surprise, disgust, sadness, and fear. So now we have got a model on hugging face transformers that can help us to do this emotion classification in the language of Ekman. So we can classify any text into six emotions, happiness, sadness, anger, fear, disgust, and surprise. So as you can see, I've got a sample text here. And then I said, love the movie, but shocked the ending. Um, I don't know, maybe the text doesn't make sense a lot, but you can see that it says the surprise is the topmost emotion for this and uh, with the 0.76% F1 score. So this is exactly what we are going to do using a Kaggle data set in this particular video. If you want to just simply use this, you can go here to this uh, model hub. I will link this model hub in the YouTube description. Thanks to Arpan Goshal, who is the creator of this model. And you can see how to use this. But I'm going to actually take you through the Kaggle notebook that will help you to do this from scratch for a Kaggle data set or a data frame if you want. So I've picked a data frame a data set from Kaggle, which is a musical instrument reviews. So you can use the same data set if you want, or you can replace this with a different data set later on. The first step is create a new Kaggle notebook and then make sure that you have got the GPU accelerator sitting on. So GPU accelerator will help you do this inference faster than on a CPU, but you can still do this on a CPU. You, GPU is not mandatory, but a CPU, uh, CPU might be slower. A GPU could be really helpful. So the next thing is install the library called Transformers. This is the Hugging Face Transformers library that we are going to use to do Ekman Sentiment Classifier. I should probably call it Ekman Sentiment Classifier, Sentiment Analysis maybe. Sentiment Analysis, okay, review Ekman Sentiment Analysis using Transformers. Okay, that's big, Sentiment Analysis, cool. So the next thing is import all the required libraries. In this case, I'm importing Pandas, Torch, and also um, the required, you know, the predefined code that Kaggle gives me just to find out where the CSV is. Once you have the defined path ready, then read the CSV file and call it reviews. Then the next thing is we're going to join, we're going to start with the sentiment analysis. The sentiment analysis code requires two important imports. One is from transformers import pipeline. The second one is import torch. So from transformers import pipeline is to create a pipeline for the hugging face transformers and import torch if you want to do anything with torch. I, I don't think I'm doing anything with torch here, but just in this case, I've imported it. The next thing is first, we need to create a pipeline. So the pipeline is a very simple way of dealing with certain tasks, machine learning tasks using hugging face transformers. One, you can either download the entire model separately and then do things. But the other option is you can define these tasks and then do things. For example, if you want to do text generation, there's the task you can do. If you want to do sentiment analysis, you can do. If you want to do AS or automatic speech recognition, there is a separate task. So like that here in this case, we are doing sent we are using sentiment analysis task with the specified model that we just saw. So from the model hub, we copy this model link here and then go back to the Kaggle notebook and then paste the model link. And then we specify the device as zero because we have got a GPU here. If you do not have a GPU, by default, the device would be minus one. But if because we have got a GPU, I'm going to go ahead and then give device is equal to zero. And when I run this thing, it's going to download the model and create a new instance called pipe. Now pipe is going to be like a simple, like you can use it like a function where you can send the text inside it and then you can get a response, which in this case would give us the label, the topmost label and the topmost score for the label that has been detected. For example, I did the same thing that I did here. I love the movie, but the shocking is ending. So it said surprise with a score of 0.76. So very similar, like the, the sentence is different. So don't bother about the score, but you can see the label is surprise and the equivalent score. So this works very well for individual text. So if your duty is to create an API, 
that would do ekman sentiment analysis or say emotions classification you can stop this video at this end because all you need is to now take the input from the user and send it here and then call this function the function would return this as a json and then you have to just pass it that's it but most of the times if you're in a company if you're an organization most of your data is going to reside somewhere in a sql server or it is going to be in a tabular format most likely either a csv file or um, or a sql database so in that case you want to load a sql uh, file into a table pandas data frame preferably and then do sentiment analysis for that table and the rest of this video and the rest of this code is going to tell you how you can take this particular code snippet and then do it for a pandas data frame so the data frame that we have got here is i'm going to call it reviews dot head and i'm going to call 10 you can see that we have got a data frame here that says you know reviews id some details the most important column for us is the review text the text which um which actually has got the actual customer feedback text now you have got some quantitative feedback as well like overall score and all these things that you can use so now this is the important aspect for us like we have a tabular data frame we want to add a new column called sentiment or emotion that will have this label the emotion label so this is our task so basically we have a data frame with customer feedback we want to add a new column that says either emotion or label sentiment whatever the column name is there we are going to evaluate this column review text and add the respective ekman emotion or ekman sentiment at the end that's that's what we are going to do so for that we need a small helper function and that helper function we're going to call ekman classifier this helper function is going to take text as input and then it is going to call pipe with this text and then it is going to take the label label of this first so you can see the output is a list so it's going to go inside this and then take the value of this label which is surprise that's exactly what we are doing so it calling the pipe going inside the take, uh, list and then taking the value of the first element which is label and then return that value so if you call this on some text it's going to say like this neutral so if i say i'm uh, i'm so mad at my people then it's going to say anger so you can see that how it works so you've got a very simple helper function now what we are going to do that is we're going to use this function and we are going to apply apply like literally apply it on our data frame but before that just for the demonstration purpose i'm going to cut short the data frame also keep in mind that whenever you use models like this that are deep learning models to do sentiment analysis these models have got because these are like based on bert or some other transformer architecture these models have a limitation of how much text you can give so sometimes when you apply it on entire data set you might come across that kind of issue so you have to do a little bit of data processing to cut short your text sometimes split your text so remember to do data processing before you arrive at this step if you are you doing it at your workplace or part of your project so just keep that in mind data processing is quite important here so the next thing is i'm going to just take the first 20 of the columns and i'm going to call a new data sorry first 20 of the rows of this data frame i'm going to call it reviews underscore head now all i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new column called emotion inside the data frame reviews underscore head and i'm going to say reviews underscore head of the review text is what i want and i'm going to apply this function on this so this is like very much like functional programming so here we have taken the utility function that we created and apply this function on top of this text which means for every row it's going to take this text send it to this function get the response save it to that particular row in the column emotion and now when we run this you can see that you have got a new column that says neutral joy neutral neutral joy 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 sadness and you can see all these values i'm not going to go individually and read or see how effective this is going to be that i can definitely do it here like i can try with a couple of options but you can see how simple and easy it is for us to for us to actually see the final response so now we have this you can now do analysis like for example you can take this emotion and do an, an analysis with this overall score that they have given or you can try to find out the summary you can find what customers are unhappy about what customers are angry about and then you can filter it and you know tell your product team tell your marketing team whatever team you work for and this is exactly how you can use sentiment analysis to do 
to drive business value. But in this case, we have not just done a simple sentiment analysis, but we have done an Ekman emotion sentiment analysis or Ekman emotion detection using Hugging Face Transformers library using the model that Arpan Goshal has put together that is called Ekman classifier. Once again, to quickly summarize what we have done in this video. First, we learned about this model. Second, we tried this model on Hugging Face model up. Third, we came to Kaggle and created a new Kaggle notebook to do the sentiment, Ekman sentiment classification or Ekman emotion classification for a larger data set, which in this case is musical Amazon music reviews data set. We have got it as Pandas data frame. We have loaded the model. We have created a Hugging Face Transformers pipeline and uh, we have used that pipeline and created a utility function and use that utility function to create a new column called emotion, which will actually give the emotion of this respective review text. I hope this video was helpful to you. This Kaggle notebook um, and also the model link will be linked in the YouTube description below the like button. Please check it out. Any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy this tutorial in applied NLP. See you in the next video.